How's your coffee? My coffee is iced, just like my heart. That's how I like my women. Ew. Iced. Just really cold. Back to our stupid reactions and some Corbin. I'm Rick. Also, Instagram, Twitter, oh, it's juicy. Co it's so juicy. I think it's on Patreon, follow us, put a count ring the bell, follow the game squad. Bang! And follow us on our personal YouTube channels as well. It's weird you did that considering what we're doing right now. Ah, ah, TT. That's. Uh, you remember the reaction? We did we call it TT? Titty. Titty. Yeah, titty? we said we we ended. We got really bad and said now we want to see titty. Yeah, gotta see some titty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, is it actually pronounced TT or? I, I don't know. Or, I don't know. I don't know because I'm assuming the word is it's titty. No, I'm Oh, gotcha. Same. Is it Canadian? Is that how you would say that? Yeah. If it's if it's Canada? Oh, the language? Canadian? Canadian? I don't, I don't know. know. But I I think it's titty because they say it in the film. Titi? Yeah, they say it. I think times. it's titty. 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 And <laughs> it is our... It's just gonna be a movie review in case you yeah, haven't figured that out already. Um, uh, 100 Spins Forward, that's it. No review. If you haven't watched it, go down. watch it, and come back. Um, this is our third or fourth Canada film. I don't remember what. I think it's number. I, I wanna say it's third. I wanna say it's third. Um, we saw KGF. Uh, first, and then we saw that, that I forget I'm the name, the really long, yeah, I yeah, can't the pronounce the really it. long name one, which we also enjoyed. And then now we're on to Titi. Titty. Uh, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna call it now. You can't, you can't make me call it anything else other than titty. Uh, and that's a compliment. It is a compliment. <laughs> anyway, I have so many things I could say right now. I uh, know. No. Anyways, today uh, it is a. Uh, it's by director Rom Reddy, uh, and who also wrote it. Who also was one of the writers. I, right. I don't think we've seen anything Rom Reddy has done before. I don't. I don't think so either. And also, was one of the editors, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, as well, and also, no actors. None. Like, there's not an IMDb credit for any one of them, is there? No. That. Well, I mean, they've listed four people here, but absolutely none of them are. I, I believe, unless I'm. I was told wrong. I was told everybody in this village, the director. Just got somebody from the village. Oh, so these are all legit village village members that all live together. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dang. But anyways, uh, Rick, your initial thoughts. Um, I don't have a paragraph for it, but I can tell you on my new handy dandy rating system, mm -hmm. uh, I I gave this one. If I applaud when a movie comes to a conclusion, mm -hmm. I really liked the movie, and when this movie ended. I applauded. Did you? I did. Nice. It, it it ended, and I just was so... Here's the main thing. The main takeaway, though, I got a few. And so I gave it an egg. I gave it a... It's a high score. I gave it an A. I gave it, like, nines in everything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which is, like, nearly flawless in terms of uh, oh, just it, everything. In terms of a film, it's hard to find a flaw. It's hard to find a flaw. It is. Uh, uh, but, yeah. There, I mean, there's just some... Uh, but it's... I can't... If you if you haven't, and this would be hard for you guys because for you this is India, but say for a Westerner, if I if I were to, uh, but this is also a regional, and, right? It's regional and very artistic regional. So, so I yeah, think a lot of people haven't if, seen this. Film. They haven't seen it, and here's the, here's my biggest takeaway that I love about this film. I have never watched a movie that, as I was watching it, other than documentaries, but even in a documentary, I haven't felt this, where I felt watching it like I do when I visit. A foreign land mm. where you're you're literally there and you're just drinking in everything that's going on and everybody else is just doing their thing but for you because this is something you've never seen you know you'll never see it again because it's just a, a once in a lifetime kind of experience thing and you're watching every little thing from the way they sit on the ground and and do the work over there and the way that guy is over there riding his bike and the way the the, the, the topography looks and the way the air this felt like i had been transported to this village mm -hmm. and just got to spend 
like a weekend in this village and then left. I feel like I actually went there. Yeah, oh, 100%. Uh, all credit goes to the director yeah. for everything about this film. Yeah. Um, because everything was so well done. Everything, like you say. One, there's no music. In the, well, outside of when the, the band. musicians are playing. Yeah, the band. There's no score. None. Which, I gave it a nine for score because sometimes you grade the score based because that there is none. How the director did use mu use music and how the director didn't use music. It's insane. Yeah. There's no other film that I can think of that just, no. Right. No score. <laughs> no, I'm not going to, no score. <laughs> also, didn't hardly move the camera. Nope. It was all basically um, almost static shots. Yeah. And, and, and even sometimes he did it comedically. Sometimes, you know, somebody would go off this way. He would right. stay on the shot. Which come back on the screen. Which is a testament to, for example... When you really think about, by the time they do, one of my favorite scenes was when they're all getting drunk and eating chicken and mm -hmm. uh, having the fireside thing. It's always easy to take for granted anything shot at night mm -hmm. because you can't make the light. If you're on set, the lighting isn't natural. It doesn't feel like nighttime when you're filming Yeah, because you have to have some light to make it look like night. Yeah. So it's different than a day shot. A day shot you can set up without lights and you probably get away with it. You can't really do that on a nighttime shot. Mm -hmm. And this never, it never feels like anybody's making a movie. It feels like you're just you literally, them. like you're just walking along standing next to everybody. It's the epitome of a fly on the wall film. It really is. Because and you literally are just immersed in this village and you're like, this is, this is 100% real, what this I'm saying. Is, yeah. Yeah, 100% real. And we've talked about it before. Uh, so, once again, applauding the director. Did a phenomenal job. But if you go in and you're like, I'm not going to use real actors. Right. There's two ways that could go. Could go only, there. only two ways. It's very badly. It's right. Or perfectly. Which and is <laughs> more likely than not going to go bad. Yes. More likely than but not. But I, 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 I think I saw something that said the director... He didn't want anybody to act, so he just told the these people that he hired uh, in the village, just go do this. It's not like um, I, I don't know how much script he had. That's what I was just thinking. I don't how know much of any script, like that, but he would just tell them go go do your work. Right? Yeah. Now. Which which when you're working with people who don't act, if you can get away with improvisation and just give people objectives. So for example, let's say when the younger son is tracking down his dad because he wants to tell him you got to sell the land now because grandpa's dead. Mm -hmm. He could have very well just said to the older gentleman, you're going to walk along and he's going to come and ask you for something and you just have to deny him the whole time. And the other guy, he could have said, you just got to try and convince him. And there wasn't anything scripted. Mm -hmm. Did they do that? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. I believe that I watched a father and son argue and that they, everybody in this movie I literally, as I sit here, feel like I felt this way with Hellera. Mm -hmm. This village exists. These people are real. This issue is a real serious thing that they just caught on camera, like a documentary. Mm -hmm. And if I went and I flew there, I'd find out that Century was the guy in the town that died. And they'll all talk about that story and how his son uh, tried to sell the land, his grandson. You know, <laughs> it just felt 100% believable and real with that overwhelming sense of the feeling you have when you're visiting a new place and everything's brand new and you're just, you just are loving looking at the people and the culture, the way they look, the way they dress, the way they talk. Yeah, you can't fake how some of these people looked and talked. No. Which is why it was brilliant. I mean, this is, like I said, the most basic form of filmmaking almost. Mm -hmm. He didn't, he did, I'm sure this, he didn't have a bunch of money for, for crew. I'm sure a lot of it was very gorilla. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, the actors, which made the sound that much more impressive too. Sorry, I didn't yes. interrupt, but made the actors, um, but made the actors just. <laughs> you can't make actors act the way these people did. No. It's not possible mm -mm. Uh, because these people were just going about their life, yeah, and doing probably what they do every single day. I wonder how much, if any, was done actually kind of camouflaging the camera because it's natural even for people who know how to act to um it's oh we've talked about this before the proverbial when you're being watched you suddenly don't know what to don't know what to do with your hands um you know one of the most <laughs> difficult tasks to accomplish is be natural everything just suddenly goes counterintuitive mm -hmm. 
Uh, there wasn't a moment in this no. where I caught anybody mm -hmm. out of character or aware they were filming, even in the group shots. No one looked at the camera. Nobody was not reacting the way they ought to. Uh, and then add to it a really cool story that's universal no matter where you go. This story could be just translated and put into Manhattan. This could be put in Australia. Mm -hmm. It could be put in New Zealand where you've got three generations and you're watching all three generations deal with three different things that are a result of the patriarch passing away mm -hmm. and how the younger guy has his own issues that are typical for somebody in his generation, the older guy, typical for somebody in his generation. And that stereotypical universal thing is super wonderful because that's one of the greatest truths about the human experience is that, yeah, we're different, but for the most part, we are all dealing with similar things. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and it was, it was really well done. I, you know how I love when they just end movies. <laughs> I just love that. Uh, <laughs> I, I was begging that far off shot yeah, when with the fire. the fire. I thought, please don't zoom in. Please don't say anything. No one show up. Let's just sit here, watch it, and go to black. And it yeah. did. And yeah. that's why I applauded. <laughs> and there was still no music in the credits. No, no. Just <laughs> that, the, the, the f first half of the three minute credits is just that noise in the background of the people talking. And then the last half of it is that band. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that was that was <laughs> phenomenal. I, I thought the way they because the way they handled the whole uh, any issues they had, some of them seemed like just meaningless. Like, why would you show something like this on camera? Right. But it was perfect. Mm -hmm. He was just trying to capture these people's lives. That's mm -hmm. what that's all the director's prerogative was. He's like, I'm going to capture these people's lives. I, I'm not going to try to force feed you. I'm yeah. going to try to, I'm going to let you decide what you think this was about. Yeah. I'm going to, and so I really enjoyed it. Like at the end when the, when the boy and the girl had sex. You're and, literally reading my mind. Yeah. Right now that's where my brain was and I was just going to bring her she, up. She was just sitting, sitting there. there. I was just going to mention this. And you're like, okay, what is she thinking? Yes. And they would, and she left. She's like, I, I don't, I don't know where I'm going to be. I think is what she said, but come find me and marry me. Mm -hmm. And you're like, did she, was she regret? Oh no, she wants to marry. Okay. Well, you saw that mix in her face. Now, first of all, I loved that, obviously, from the sounds, because that's all we got, and mm -hmm. the animals reacting, we hear them having sex. Mm -hmm. And you can tell from the sounds that this is consensual and she's enjoying it and yeah. they're having sex. But then the look on her face is this mixture of, I wanted to do this, but was this the right thing to do? What do I do now? Am I gonna get in trouble? Am I gonna get pregnant? I hope he's going to marry me. I really wanted him to marry me. And all of that was just, I 100% believed that young lady was in that situation. If that was an acting class and that was the given scenario and she walked out, I would have looked at everybody, looked at her and said, you can't do that any better than she just did that. Yeah. I believe 100% she was that girl in that situation. I have no notes. Yeah, and that's what that's one of the brilliant things that it's it's a, it's a risk, but it can pay off dividends when you just have non actors being themselves. Because obviously, that's what an actor's job is. They're trying to be this person. But yes. If you already have a person who is that person, yes, and they're just being themselves. I mean, it's you can't beat that. And it one of the things here you get you get risks with any <laughs> actor. Yeah. So an inexperienced actor, the risk you're going to get is that they're not going to know how to be believable on camera and they're going to put up facades and they're going to do cliche things and they're just going to play to the camera and do all that other crap. The thing you can get with an actor is uh, unless you're a really skilled director, you're going to have actors pulling out all their tools and, and they actually have to unlearn their training. They can be too in their head yeah. and thinking too much rather than... because. Mm -hmm. That's my note to actors is that you're not a human acting, you're a human being. Yeah. So the job isn't to act, the job is to be. Mm -hmm. And every single person in this... It's very reminiscent of a court, actually, in terms of how real it was. Very much so. Um, and stylistically a yeah. lot like court. Um, or, or a um, JLP movie without the obvious, I'm the director yeah. spin on it, you know? But yeah. it had a lot of his quirkiness. Yeah. 
in absolutely. it. Absolutely, and a, little, a bunch of humor as well. There was par- points that I, I thought- Laughed out loud. They were very funny. Absolutely did. Um, so <laughs> I like, <laughs> but one of the moments that was just really great was, uh, I forgot the exact wording he said, but somebody said to somebody, some, he, somebody called somebody a fat piece of shit. Mm-hmm. And I just, it, it, I <laughs> laughed funny. out loud. It was so funny the way that was delivered. So yeah, this is a movie that I, I would love to just turn on and let play again and mm-hmm. just allow myself to go on a trip to that village and be around. Even watching the, the main, the son, the older, the grandpa who's the son of Century, just watching him squat down and light a cigarette mm-hmm. is so interesting. Yeah, he was such I, an interesting man. I would have man. thought that he's like a, a thespian actor. Yes. Like if I didn't know that these were just real people, because he, 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 that's what you, in a, a legend thespian experienced actor, you could, you'd think they're that person. Right. That's what, yeah. I 100% believe that this 100%. man just walks around, smokes cigarettes, and drinks his brandy. Drinks his or, brand, yeah, drinks his stuff, and yeah. walks around, and he coughed, and that was the other thing too which is hard to do with a a new actor is if anything goes unexpectedly for new actors they will apologize which is one of the worst things you can do as an actor you don't say i'm sorry over and over you just it is what it is you can do it as a laugh but too many actors go they're supposed to do the thing oh sorry don't don't apologize you do your thing it's very difficult for inexperienced actors to let a cough happen or a sneeze or maybe an animal do something and then think, oh, that ruined the shot. I guess we have to start over to just roll with that. Oh, yeah. That's not a, that, that's very rare. That's why Tom Hanks freaked out. And I don't know if you know the story about Captain Phillips, but the actor they hired, you know this, the actor they hired to be the main terrorist in Captain Phillips had never acted before. And his line when he says, I'm the captain now, I'm the captain now, was improvised. And Hank said to him, you've never acted before and you felt comfortable enough to improv with me and throw a fricking line out that the director went, brilliant, I'm keeping this. (laughs) And he got nominated for an Oscar. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of acting that was in this. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, great movie. Great movie. It's it's hard to make a film just better in terms of just a raw film it's you just you captured what you needed to everybody was believable everything was beautiful it was just a gorgeous film. yeah that's why i gave it virtual i gave it there's nothing no score i gave it under a nine which for me is nearly perfect yeah. everything in this thing is is nearly flawless yeah yeah well let us know what you thought of it down below let us know why we're idiots if you think this movie was garbage which means you're garbage, you're garbage. Yeah, <laughs> you're <an idiot. laughs> We're not idiots. <laughs> uh, let us know which next Canada film we should watch. Uh, more from this director. And or any or of these other people, if they've done yeah, any other work. I don't know. Let us know uh, down below.